everyone. Today I thought I would give you an insight to everything I read in 2015 so you can see the kind of books I like to read and see if they're similar to the kind of books you like to read. This might take a while but I'm not going to speak about any of the books because we will be here forever if I do that. I read 60 books in 2015 which I am super happy about. I didn't think I could read that much but apparently I can. So I'm going to make that my Goodreads reading goal for this year again, see if I can match it. And that's it really, let's get started. The first book I read in January was Girl Online by Zoe Sug, I give this 4 stars. The next book I read was Elmer and Park by Rainbow Rowell, I give this 5 stars. The third book I read was You're the One That I Want by Giovanna Fletcher, and I give this 4 stars. And then the next book I read was The Little Beach Street Bakery by Jenny Colgan, and I give this 3 stars. And after that, I read Message in a Bottle by Nicholas Sparks, and I gave this five stars. And then I carried on reading another Nicholas Sparks book, and that was The Rescue, and I gave this three stars. And then finally, I read another Rainbow Rowell book, and that was Attachments, and I gave this four stars. And the final book I read in January was The Little Coffee Shop of Kabul by Deborah Rodriguez, and I only gave this two stars. And then in February, I read Fairest in All the Land by Bill Willingham. This is the first graphic novel I've ever read and I really enjoyed it. It's retellings of fairy tale characters and this is the spin-off series to Fables which I'm also hoping to read very soon. But you don't need to read for you Fables, you can't just skip straight to Fairest which is what I did. But I should probably read Fables as well. And I give this 5 stars, I loved it. And then I read another Nicholas Fox book. There's about halfway through this year. I just was a bit Nicholas Sparks crazy, so but halfway through 2015 I was a bit Nicholas Sparks crazy, so just bear with me on this. And the next book was Knights and Rodents, and I gave this four stars. The next book I read was Landline by Rainbow Rowell, and I think I gave this four stars. I'm not sure, but I think I gave this four stars. And then I read Dear John by Nicholas Sparks, and I love this copy because it's a floppy paperback. Yeah, I'm one of those who loves floppy paperbacks. And I gave this a 3 stars. And the next book I read was Six Suspects by Vickers Suara. I may be butchering that name, I'm not sure, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it anyway. This is quite a big book. And I read it pretty quick, so I was happy about that. And I gave this 3 stars. And the next book I read is Like My Baby. I love it so much. And that is Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. I absolutely love this book and that is why my channel name is what it is. And of course I gave this 5 stars. And the final book I read in February was Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll and I gave this 4 stars. So when it came to uploading the video onto a computer as so I could edit it, apparently it decided that the audio weren't going to work properly halfway through, not even halfway through actually, and the image all went really distorted and this is when we got to March. So from March onwards I am now refilming the video like three days later. So yeah that, that happened which I'm a bit annoyed about but and it took me so long to film this video as well but hey oh we've got to just get on with it. So, on to March. Anyway, the first book I read in March was The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks, which I gave three stars. And then I read Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, which I also gave three stars. Unfortunately, I did only read two books in March, so now on to April. The first book I read was A Place for Us by Harriet Evans, and I gave this four stars. And then the next book in April I read was The List of My Desires by Greg Wardell. Probably butchering that name, but yeah. I really like this cover as well, I think it's really cute. But I only give this three stars. And then I read another Nicholas Sparks book, and that was The Best of Me, and I gave this three stars as well. And then finally in April, I read The Hunger Games trilogy, which is The Hunger Games, Catch and Fire, and Mocking Jay. I gave The Hunger Games five stars, Catch and Fire five stars and Mock and Jake 4 stars and overall I give the whole series a 5 stars. And then the first book in May I read was All I Know Now by Carrie Pope Fletcher and I give this 4 stars. 
and then I read Shotgun Love Songs by Nicholas Butler and I gave this four stars as well. And then I read Missing You by Harlan Coburn and I give this three stars. And then in June I read The Choice by Nicholas Sparks and I give this four stars. Following that I read Sisterland by Curtis Sittenfeld and I give this three stars. And then I read a graphic novel and that was V for Vendetta and I gave this five stars. And then finally in June I read A Hundred Pieces of Me by Lucy Dillon and I give this four stars. And then in July I read Paper Towns by John Green and I give this four stars. I read pretty much all of this on the plane to LA when I went last summer. And then I read Dream A Little Dream by Giovanna Fletcher and I give this four stars. And then I read possibly my favourite John Green book. I think my favourite John Green book now and that is Looking for Alaska and I gave this five stars of course. And then I read another classic and that was Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen and I gave this four stars. And then I read Selection by Kira Cass and I give this five stars. I love this series, it's a bit of a guilty pleasure. Finally I read another graphic novel and that was Fairest Volume 1, Wide Awake and this is by Bill Willingham and Matthew Sturges. In August I read probably one of my favourite books of the year and that was The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I've recently got into the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series and I love them and I'm hoping to read Lord of the Rings this year. Of course I give this five stars. And then I read another graphic novel and that was Fairest Volume 2, The Hidden Kingdom. And this is by Bill Willingham and Lauren Bukes and I think I give this four stars. And then I finished the selection series which is The Elite, The One, and then the spin-off series, first book which is The Air. And I gave these two five stars and I gave this one four stars. And I also read in August Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, but this is my sister's copy so I don't have it. And I gave this three stars. I read another classic story in September and that was Annie by Thomas Meehan. This is quite different to the film, so if you've seen the film and you really like that, give this a read as well because it is quite different but it is still just as fun, it's amazing. And I gave this four stars. And I finished off September by reading The Maze Runner series by James Dashner and that includes The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure and then the prequel which is The Kill Order and I gave The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials and The Death Cure four stars and I gave The Kill Order three stars and overall I gave the series four stars. In October I read probably my least favourite John Green book and that was An Abundance of Catherines and I gave this three stars and then I read one of my favourite authors now, but another one of her books and that was The Distant Hours by Kate Morton and I gave this five stars. I love every single one of Kate Morton's books I've read so far, I think they're fantastic, they're like historical fiction so if you enjoy that give them a read because they're really good. They are always quite chunky books but they're really, really fun reads, so give them a read if you like historical fiction. And then I read Six Years by Harlan Coburn, and I gave this four stars. And finally, in October, I read The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. Probably butchering that name too. And I gave this four stars as well. The first book I read in November was a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. This is the first book I have read by her. I've not read the Throne Glass series. Don't shoot me. But I really enjoyed this book and I'm excited for the next book to come out this year. So that should be fun. And I gave this four stars. And then I went back to my childhood and read the complete collection of stories and poems by A. A. Milne, the Winnie the Deal book. And it is fantastic. It is so good. It just took me back to my childhood when I read all the books then and watched the films. It was just brilliant and it was so nice to get back into it. And the illustrations inside are just gorgeous. Like some really, really nice ones, which are just beautiful if you can see that. And yeah, I give this four stars. And then I read The Borrowers by Mary Norton and I give this four stars as well. 
And then I started off December with another classic and that was Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte and I give this three stars. It was pretty confusing but there was a family tree in this edition so that did help a lot. And then I got into the Christmassy spirit and I read Christmas with Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher which is the novella to Billy and Me which was her debut novel. And then I carried on the Christmassy spirit and read Dream a Little Christmas Dream by Giovanna Fletcher and this is the novella to Dream a Little Dream which came out in 2015. And then I jumped straight back in with some more graphic novels and they were Fairest Volume 3, The Return of the Mahara? If you know how to pronounce that correctly, could you leave it in the comments below please because I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. But this is by Sean E. Williams and I gave this four stars. And then I carried on reading another graphic novel and that was Ferris Volume 4 of Men and Mice, which I love to play on words there. And this is by Mark and Draco, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And I give this four stars as well. And then the final book of 2015 I read was Boy Tales of Childhood by Roald Dahl. This was so fun to get back into Roald Dahl's writing because I haven't read his book since I was a child. And it was just brilliant. This is all stories of his childhood, so that was really fun to learn about. And I give this four stars. And that is it for my 2015 wrap up. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've read any of the books I've mentioned in this video, please leave your opinions on them in the comments below if you wish. And by all means, leave any questions about any of the books I've read last year as well in the comments below and I will try and answer as many as possible. So that is it really. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you again in my next video very soon. Bye!